So here is the uh, here's the speaker. I finally made a box for it, and it is a carbon fiber box. So you know it is some really high quality material, and it is a very high quality stereo. That's a Kenwood 100 watt. That's a 100 watt. The speaker basically, the system is a 20 watts, I think. I'm taking a rough estimate. It's a 20 watt, but the gain level is about 4 decibels. So we're talking about 80 watts to 100 watts on a 100 watt speaker. So uh, the, the port in the tube is not, is not you know, is not getting the, uh, the resonance that you really want because the carbon fiber, carbon fiber doesn't have a resonance level to make that tube its maximum, uh, its maximum base. I'd say it's about maybe 400 or more right now, 400 at least. You got to take this, uh, if you want to get a good subwoofer on there, get some good base, you got to take it down to at least 100. And uh, carbon fiber is not good enough to resonate it at 100, 100 hertz. I'd estimate maybe 500 or 1,000 hertz is about as far as a carbon fiber box can go with a tube on it. So here is what it sounds like, and it's a powerful beast. Uh, the only other stereo system that I've seen that can compare to this is the Bose, and the Bose is almost 200 something dollars, but this thing is about two to three times as loud. It's a beast. And uh, not only is it a beast, it it's loud. So uh, let me get the remote here, and we'll go ahead and hit the uh, hit the play button. As you can see when I turned it up. As you can see when I turned this up with a carbon fiber box distortion. You know, what is exactly distortion? A distortion is when the waves are bouncing around and they're not resonating the way they should be. The treble, the mid-range, and the subwoofer have to act together though in a cacophony of like an orchestra. So when you have a carbon fiber box, those waves are bouncing and they're not they're not they're not joining each other. In a car stereo, when you do a box, you have you're splitting the signal. Yeah. The reason why you split the signal is because you got distortion in it already, like white noise. But when you when you have a digital system like an MP3 when you have a distortion, when you have a system like an MP3 player, digital signal, you don't get that white noise you are getting out of the digital play. Now, the question is, is it a digital signal? No. It takes the information that a bit and it turns in, into an analog. That analog has to resonate in the box. So before it comes out, it has to resonate with something. And the only other way to do it is to put like a tuning fork in here so that it can tune out all the cancellations and that's what's happening right now you can hear the distortion in it and you can hear the cancellation of the signals as they bounce around and they try to resonate so basically the carbon fiber looks the carbon fiber looks awesome it looks good but the cardboard box that I had before is better in terms of sound quality and it's better in terms of resonance. So 
the signal that you're going to get as far as sound output, the acoustic, is better with a cardboard box than it is with a carbon fiber box. For this reason, the frequency I cannot get it below 500 hertz. And secondly, with a three-way speaker, the signals are canceling out inside before it's even being amplified out. So as it's coming out, it's coming out already distorted. It should be coming out as one signal, one, sig one single acoustic sound. The only other way to do this is to start getting an equalizer here and start bringing it down or up, down and up to see where those signals are in mesh and are, are uh, resonating together. But all in all, all in all, this is an awesome stereo. This is probably one of the, this is probably one of the most awesome stereos I've ever built. Um, Cost-wise, it was like five bucks. To be honest with you, I saw this. Somebody threw away this speaker, and I grabbed both of them. One of them was uh, blown out, and I said, "Holy crap! Look at the magnet on it. This thing weighs ten pounds. That magnet, this speaker right here, that speaker right there weighs ten pounds. It's a beast." That's a carbon fiber box.